Hey guys, Wells Knight here. Welcome back to another episode of Grounded. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I was doing a little bit of exploring uh, between episodes, and uh, well, I, I kind of lost my stuff. Uh, it, it fell in a hole, uh, which is fine, but I need to find said hole. Yeah, here we go. It was down here somewhere. Uh... And, like, getting my stuff back, I didn't really have anything super important on me, but I wanted to actually explore this place a little bit as well, because, like, it seems like a fairly... Oh, hi. We got a, a bell spider here. Come on. I think it's trapped. Oh, no, it's not trapped. I thought it was, but it's not. Uh, this is what got me last time. But, if I can get you... Die, please? There we go. Okay. So, there's that. We got this chip here, and I'm not entirely sure... Oh, there's the backpack. Fantastic. Okay. So, yeah, this is where I was when I kicked the bucket, and I decided to make a little bit of, like, stuff here so we could actually explore this place a little bit, because I don't really know what's over here, but it could potentially be something useful. Is that more quartzite I saw back here? Maybe not. Thought I saw something useful back here, but nope, I guess that was just my imagination. That's definitely marble. Um, grab that. How we doing on... We're doing okay. Okay, so here we go. We got a milk molar. Oh, it requires a higher tier tool. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to die again. Which is unfortunate. Uh, okay. Well, we will respawn at the field station. Um, turn off the lantern. We just ran out of air, <laughs> is basically what happened there. Uh, and there wasn't a whole lot that I could do about it. But it's good to know. We need a higher tier knife to cut through that and get that milk molar. Uh, how did we actually get in there? I think it was... Through Burgle's lab. So we'll go around the long way. Get our stuff. I mean, hopefully I'll have enough air that I can get in and get out. I don't know if that's actually going to be possible, though. Maybe if I'm super quick and I focus only on that and not worry about uh, <laughs> getting, like, anything else along the way. We might be able to do it. If not, I'll just have to kind of abandon my stuff and then uh, we'll come back when I have higher tier uh, breath, like underwater equipment that will allow me to breathe underwater for longer. Because uh, I didn't really have anything on me that, I, that I'm that i like super worried about losing. It was just sort of some basic stuff. So, uh, but mostly I just kind of wanted to explore down there, see what was down there. Uh, today, what we're mostly going to be doing is going for a swim. We're going to be going into the uh, pond, I think. Uh, let's actually go this way, because there is free water right here. There we go. Let's do that. I don't suppose I have any mutations that would help me breathe underwater, do I? Fresh defense. Natural explorer might, actually. Let's equip that. That might help me move a little faster. I don't know if it affects your swim speed, but it definitely affects your move speed. Like your running speed, so maybe that will be helpful? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So, uh, let's see. Let's get down here. So we can go for a swim. Get the light equipped. See if we can get our stuff back. Uh, I think the big thing is going to be making sure that we don't let our stamina completely drain. 
as we're swimming. I mean, I suppose the other option would be to make the fin flops. So we can get uh, a little bit faster move speed. But there we go. There's that. Yeah, we should be okay. It looks like we used like roughly half of our air to get through here. So uh, we should be good. If, worst case scenario, we can die like again. And if we die again, then uh, we'll be able to make it back with our stuff intact the second time around. Uh, if we can find the way out of here, I think it's this way. It all kind of looks the same, if I'm being honest. Yeah, that looks like an air pocket. Hey, there we go. All right, we made it out in one piece. So now uh, I think we just are going to go out of this little bit. We know that there's a milk molar down there, which is good. Uh, let's turn this off because we want to preserve that lantern. Okay. Uh, let's equip shield. We can do it. You don't actually need to be able to see because the eyes kind of give it away. There we go. Okay. My inventory is full? Excuse me? Oh, because I've got all this raw weevil meat. Okay. Uh, so let's actually repair that. We'll take the mandibles. Uh, let's eat some stuff now. So let's eat this. And I guess this. Sure. And... I guess I'll light this lantern. There we go. So this is where we need to be to get out of here. Uh, if I can get back in. Okay. So I actually have way more stuff than I thought I did. Um, so I don't think I want to go diving at the moment. Uh, because I'm not actually going to be able to really pick anything up. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know the inventory space for it. Uh, I suppose I could roast some stuff, but I think what I'm going to do is head back to my actual base and we'll, uh, especially since it's night now. Yeah, I think I'm going to head back to my actual base, dump a bunch of this stuff off, sleep for the evening, uh, and then we'll go swimming in the morning. Okay, well, it is the next day. Uh, we are back to the pond and what we want to do is go diving right about here-ish. Uh, there is a cave there that has what we need, and that is sunken bone shards. If we look at the stuff we can craft, uh, I want to be able to make the bone dagger, which is basically just an upgraded dagger. It can cut. It's like a tier two dagger. It can cut stuff underwater. Uh, it can be used underwater as a weapon. Uh, it's a significant upgrade over the little pebble dagger that we have right now. Uh, and then also, I want to be able to make the bubble helmet, uh, which will allow us to breathe underwater for much longer. So that's essentially the plan. We're going to go ahead. Uh, what does it take to repair this? Lily wax, lily pad wax and eelgrass strand. OK, that's actually not terrible. Uh, we can get a little bit of that here, I think. Just enough that I can repair it on the go if needed. There we go. And then these things here will spit out bubbles, and those bubbles will replenish your oxygen. So uh, let's turn that off. There we go. You can see our oxygen was just fully repaired. So now if we chop the eelgrass, there we go. We now have all the necessary stuff to be able to do things. So now we've got some stuff we need to kill. Uh, like these guys. These are water boatmen. And we need a few of these. Uh, we also... Well, actually, there's quite a few. Uh, did I... Oh, there's diving bell spiders. We're going to need those as well. But let's work on killing four of these first. 
This will allow us to make the fins that will allow us to swim much faster underwater, which will be nice. Because we're going to be diving pretty deep uh, when all is said and done. And these guys are pretty harmless, as you can see. They, they'll leave you alone, and then if you attack them, they'll just kind of run. So we're not overly worried. The bell spiders are a little bit uh, nastier, but like they'll actually fight you. There's another boatman over there, and a diving bell spider, which I will fight if it comes at me, but otherwise I'll leave it alone. Thankfully, the bell spiders really aren't that hard to kill. They only have, like, one attack. And they don't... Uh, I don't think they can poison you. Maybe they can. But uh, either way, how we doing? We're, we're good there. Okay. So let's see. We are diving in the direction that we need to be, I think. We need to be going down this way. Let's see. Can I get air bubble? Okay. Oh, speaking of bell spider... Out. They do hit relatively hard if you uh, let if you don't parry. But part of it's the fact that we're not we're not able to actually use like good armor down here because we have to dedicate at least one piece of armor to our our headpiece. There we go. But we'll kill you. That gets us a diving bell spider chunk, which is something. Uh, I think we got credit there. Yeah, looks like it. Now, let's just see uh, the fin flops. Okay, I do now have all the necessary stuff needed to make that. Uh, also, there's these scales here, and you can use these to get armor. Uh, you can make koi fish armor out of it, which is, to be fair, not really any better <laughs> than the uh, the ladybug armor that I already have. So I probably won't be using it, but uh, it's there as an option. Uh, we need to find a water or an air source down here, though. Just swim. Okay, air bubble, please. Thank you. What I'll probably want to do is, once I'm done fighting this bell spider, I'll probably want to go... Uh, let's heal real quick. We'll probably want to go up to the surface so that I can make the fins. And then we can do a little bit more exploring. There we go. Okay, so you're dead. Uh, I don't know that I can actually make the fins, though, is kind of the issue. Maybe I can, but... I think I need a workbench, and I don't think I have one at the moment. Or the uh, necessary stuff to make one. Uh, like, it's not super expensive, but let's just see. Uh, workbench. I need grass planks, sprig, and sap. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can get all that stuff right over here. So that should be fine. We can make ourselves a workbench, which will then allow us to make the flippers so we can swim a little bit faster. So that'll be good. So let's see. We knew we needed grass. So let's get some of this. I might as well grab it all. Okay, that's fine. And then we need sprigs and sap. Sap I probably have, right? Nope, I do not. Okay. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to find around here as well. Grab a little bit of this. 
And then we just need sprigs. And there's a couple of them right here. Good. Okay. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a workbench. Just plop it down right there. And then let's make the fin flops. So now... Now we have... Uh, you know what? We're just going to get rid of these for the moment. Because I don't need them anymore. Okay. So the fin flops will let us swim underwater much, much, much faster. Now, again... It is going to lower our defense, uh, which means if we get in a fight with a spider or something, it's going to hurt a lot more than it would uh, normally, but we should be fine. Also, I did go ahead and craft a uh, canteen as well, so we've got that. We can use that if we need it for our water and stuff. But let's see, the T-Rex was right here. So, let's go for a swim, and you can see we do swim a bit faster now, which is nice. Just gonna try and grab some air bubbles along the way. We're gonna go down here. Looks like this is air bubbles. So, I'm just gonna hang out. There we go. Let's go ahead and light our lantern. And what we're looking for is over here somewhere. There should be like a little cave or something like that. I don't know exactly where it is. So what we're probably going to do is find it and then go back and get some air. Or at least try to do it that way. Um... Looks like it might be... No? I know there's a cave around here somewhere. I <laughs> just don't know exactly where it is. Uh, let's go back and get a little bit of air here. Well, we still can. Because we kind of need that. There we go. Uh, no! No! It passed me by. It's fine. Another one will come within the next, you know, 20 seconds or whatever. So let's see. Oh, Rotten Stinger Spear. Not bad. Okay. Is actually this might be it over here. Is this where I need to go? Oh, it might be. Uh, so we want this. We need to dig this out. And that is a sunken bone. Which is why we are here. Now, uh, we need more bubbles. Will you provide me with air? Does not appear so. Okay. Well, uh, here's what we're going to do. Let's keep an eye out for more of those bones. I don't see any. Let's head back. Get some air. Now we know where we're going, so hopefully we can get a little bit farther. This time around. But I need quite a few of these sunken bones. Which is uh, a little annoying, but it's fine. Okay, there we go. We're full on air now. And we're just going to start swimming as fast as we can. Uh, these little things will help us move faster. These little bubble streams. Uh, they do not provide you air, it seems. But they will allow us to get sort of a, a speed boost, which is nice. As we go around and collect these bones. Is that another one? That is another one right there. Get that. Okay. That's why we're here. We're looking for lots and lots of these things. Uh, okay. Looks like there's an air current somewhere around here. Maybe... He, oh, okay. Will you let me... 
Okay, that's the pond lab. Hopefully this right here will have air in it. Um, maybe? If not, uh, we're gonna be pretty sad. Yep, okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, uh, well, still, we have learned things. This is good. Uh, so let's respawn at the field station. Uh, what do we need to make a lean-to? Just clover leaves and sprigs? Okay. Put that here. So let's, uh, put away our lamp. I, I said put away our lamp. There we go. And let's get ourselves some clover leaves and sprigs. And I think what we're going to do is basically set up just like a little lean-to that's fairly close to the edge of the water. Because we got to be like all the way over here. Just so we've got a nice spawn point that's a little bit, a little bit closer. Uh, I think that'll be good. Uh, also, let's go ahead and eat... Mm -hmm. Some food here. We might even set up like a full little crafting station. Now that I'm thinking about it. Like we'll just set up like a little temporary uh, diving base camp, so to speak, over there. That might be worth it. Which means I'll need some sprigs and I'll need some leaf chunks and sap. I'll need sap as well. Uh, but the sap will be easy, because there's sap, like, all over the place near the oak tree. Plenty of that. Okay. Uh, we've got clovers. Sprigs, please. Okay, that's a big spider. Ignore that. I'm not seeing any sprigs, unfortunately. I know they're around, though, so... I'm not, like, that worried. Because I know we found some earlier, right? Weren't there, like, a bunch of sprigs? Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's get all these. That should be good. And then we need to chop down a little bit of grass. And we can make, like, a little base camp, as I said. There we go. Just take... All this stuff, and... Yeah, probably right, right near this uh, soda can. Should actually be a pretty good spot. Uh, we'll just set up, like, right about here. This should be good. So, let's go craft... Let's make just a simple little lean-to. Put that like here. And then let's go ahead and also make a workbench. Put that right there. And then last but not least, I actually wouldn't mind making just like a... Like a roasting spit. Uh, although I don't have the stuff for it, so... That's fine. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and drink some water. I've got all the gear that I want to have equipped equipped. So I guess we're just going back into the water. Uh, let's see. Oh, my stuff is at the surface. Oh, I wonder if when you die... If your stuff always goes, like, as far up as possible? Like, maybe it always appears on the surface above where you're supposed to be or something? I don't know. That would actually be really nice if that was the case. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. It's pretty, like, gloomy here, so I can't really see. But this appears to be right. Get that. Okay, we are at full. We want to go this way. I'd like to get more T-Rex bones if I can. Hmm. 
or more sunken bones, if I can, anyway. The problem is that there's only so many to go around. And I don't know that there's a whole lot of, like, air bubbles here. As far as, like, things you can actually do stuff with. Like, this is where, they, this is where you find all the sunken bones, is this little area here. Um, but, as I said, there's only so many... You kind of got to take what you can get. Uh, we don't want to go into the lab. Yeah, I'm not really seeing more bones. Maybe we got all of the bones that are currently here. They do respawn, like, eventually, but it takes forever. Yeah, I think we're probably just going to end up dying again here, which... Honestly, that's okay. Oh, but I just realized I did not set my spawn where I wanted. I forgot to set my spawn at the thing. So we're going to be respawning back at the match bot, or at the field station, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Oop, knocking things over at my desk. No big deal. Still, we've got enough stuff now. Uh, that we can at least do a decent amount of research once we re once we get our stuff back. I guess this is going to be the test. Will our stuff spawn above or below the water? Because if it spawns underground, uh, that could be problematic for us. Hopefully we'll have enough bones and stuff that we can make the gear that we want. But it certainly looks like the stuff is above. It, it looks like it's up on the water. Which is great. That's kind of a nice little convenient thing. Rather than have, <laughs> having to worry about going uh, spelunking into a waterlogged cave to get your stuff back and being unable to return, you can just pop over here and get what you need. Like so. No, I, I said get my stuff. Thank you. So let's see, we have seven sunken bones. So that is unfortunately not enough to make everything that I want to make. Because if we look at the bubble helmet, the, bu the bubble helmet takes five plus silk rope and eelgrass. And the bone dagger takes two. It only takes two. I thought it took four. So actually, we do have enough to make the bubble helmet and the bone dagger. Okay, we're actually in better shape than I thought. Uh, I do need to go back to my main base, uh, but that's not a big deal. Because um, that's where all my silk stuff is. But yeah, okay, so we can actually make both. I'm going to go do that. Okay, well, now that I am back at my base... We should be able to make all this stuff. I think the most important thing is definitely going to be the bubble helmet. So let's do that first. And then the bone dagger is next. And we'll make that as well. So there we go. Now the bubble helmet will allow us to breathe for... It, it's basically the same thing as the gill tube. Uh, it just gives you a little bit better armor. Uh, and more importantly, uh, it greatly increases, uh, it, it gives you longer breathing. Like it, it, it's just a straight upgrade to the, uh, the gill tube. This is tier one. This is tier two. Uh, and then same goes for the bone dagger. The bone dagger is just a straight improvement over the peblet dagger. Uh, so we have no more reason to keep the peblet dagger with us. So let's go ahead, we can put that in here and that in here. And then I'll just organize my inventory and all that kind of stuff. And uh, now we're pretty much geared up for like a full underwater expedition. I may want to make another one of these slime lanterns. They're not super expensive. Uh, slime lantern. Oh, I need more eelgrass strands. Yeah, I should have gathered more of that while I was in the water, but uh, that's fine. Uh, do I need a... Yeah, I do need a workbench. That's that's fine, though. I could go into the... Uh, like, I do have that workbench that's nearby. So I could just take some of this with me. 
and we'd be okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll get my inventory all organized. Next episode, we'll be able to go and do some proper underwater stuff. So yeah, that'll be fun. But guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.